interested in flying like you are yeah someday this might be uh, this might be your chance to learn more about it where norma is at the rochester airport today previewing the rochester wings expo it is aimed at attracting new flyers to taking up the hobby perhaps even the career stay with us Norma Holland is learning all about planes this morning. She's at the Greater Rochester International Airport. Good morning, Norma. Good morning, Holly. You know, I think there's a general curiosity. Uh, you know, we all obviously saw this past weekend the Rochester and uh, the air show. There were thousands of people that came out to see planes doing all sorts of high-flying dives. But if you've ever wanted to just get up really close to a plane, touch it, maybe get into it, see what it's all about, we're going to tell you all about this great event, Rochester Wings 2009 at the Rochester uh, Airport this weekend. Uh, it is Saturday. It's an event for people who love to fly, people who want to learn to fly, kids who want to learn to fly. And with me this morning, Joe Hood. He is a, su a seminar coordinator for Rochester Wings 2009. And Todd Cameron. He is the director for Rochester Wings. Thanks for being with us. I have to say, it is not often that I get this close to a plane and learn all about it. Um, Todd, this is an event that's in its eighth year. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about it? It is. This event uh, is a free event and has traditionally been a safety event for pilots, mechanics, people in the industry to learn more about their craft and become more proficient. But this year, the event has really evolved into an event in which people of all ages can sure. come to the airport, get up close to the airplanes, get into the airplanes, yeah. learn more about the airplanes. Yeah. We'll be able to uh, give kids that are under 15 years old a ride. We'll be able to That's allow awesome. people that are older than 15 to take their first flying lesson, get their first log book. I can't believe that. Yeah. So this actually counts to any sort of hours or time that they it, need for training. It does indeed. It's it's real That's flight awesome. instructed okay. with a they'll be able to fly the airplane, hold on to the controls yeah. themselves. Oh and my it, gosh. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. So I, I would say I'm a little faint of heart when it comes to planes, but a lot of people are. But you said this is this owning a plane mm -hmm. is a hobby uh, and flying it is like having, you know, it's like having an RV or a motorcycle or a boat. Of course, all those things are on the ground. This is in the plane. Absolutely. <laughs> in the air. You know, uh, folks can get into flying at any age. Mm -hmm. It's very accessible, and they use it for a number of reasons, whether it's the utility of moving their family around, the fun of getting out and doing things with friends on weekends. Sure. Okay. So there, everyone needs to explore that themselves, and this event's perfect to meet all the people that are in aviation all in one place. Sounds great. Here, Joe, come here for a second. Now, sure. show us really quickly, because we only have a little bit of time left. Mm -hmm. What kind of plane is this? This is a Piper Aero 4. Okay. All right. It, uh, it is a four-seat airplane. It can't necessarily take four people because there's a weight limit. Right. You said it only had, you can only care about 600 pounds of people, right? About, about uh, yeah, about 600 pounds of people in bags. Okay. Right. It All flies right. about 160 miles an hour. Right. It, uh, it'll fly for, if you put uh, enough fuel in it, it'll, it'll fly probably six or seven, six and a half or seven hours. So you can go a long way. So I can go from here to Puerto Rico? Well, you might want to stop. <laughs> Darn it. It'll okay. get you from here to Boston in about two, two and a half hours. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Thank yeah. you so much. All, All right. right. Coming up, we're going to tell you more about Rochester Wings. Later on this morning, we're going to get a chance to see some more of the planes here at the airport. Bring this plane out. Get into the plane. Just see everything we can. Uh, if you, Again, so if you've ever wanted to get into a plane, you like flying, this is the event for you. It is free. It is Saturday. We'll have more details coming up. I'm sorry, Doug. This would be a good place for you to go to because you can learn more about it yeah. and, and then grow to like it. We'll be right back. Norma Holland is at the airport this morning, and uh, <laughs> you got the flying bug yet, Norma? Seriously, Doug, I, I have to tell you, okay, this is the most interesting thing I have done in the longest, t oh, longest time it is to learn about these planes. There's an event on Saturday here at... Um, well, what, 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 we're at the airport, but there's a different location. You've got to take Scottsville Road, right? Where are You'll we? take Scottsville Road towards the control tower. Okay. The event is at the National Guard facility next to the control tower, and people will see large signage on Scottsville okay. Road directing them to parking. This is Todd Cameron, director of Rochester Wings, and it's an event for um, aviation lovers. So if you love to look at planes, if you want to get in a plane, if you want to learn to fly a plane, this is the event for you. It is a free event. And all morning long, Todd and uh, Joe Hood have been giving me a tour of all of the planes. This is, I guess, this is what you would learn to fly in. And they've been telling me all about the instrumentation. It's fascinating stuff, and especially 
you know, a lot of people are curious about planes, but they don't ever get this close to one. That's right. And the whole focus of this event is the accessibility of being around airplanes. And, the and fact safety, that, too, and, right? And safety, absolutely. Uh, many pilots from all over the Northeast are coming to this event to take additional training and seminars that will make them safer pilots right. and more educated pilots. But the, the real focus is to emphasize that people of all ages can get excited about airplanes, get yeah. in them, and get near them and fly them. Yeah. It, this really is the coolest thing. This is a... Um, uh, I, I'm serious. They asked me, oh, would you like to get in the plane? I said, oh, okay. Uh, we're not going up into the plane, but here, I'm going to attempt to get on the plane. Because the first thing I said was, how do you get in this thing? Well, they showed me there's like a little like a little kickstand here, and then this handle, and you hold on like this, and you get on the on the wing. And uh, this is Joe Hood. I'm going to try to get in this thing. Step into my office. <sighs> Step into your office. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This thing is, ooh, it's a little tight in here. Hi, Joe. Hi, Norma. We really get up close and personal, Yes, don't you we? do. Okay, there are a thousand and one, like, buttons in here. Oh, how, yeah. lo how long did it take you to learn to fly? Well, to get, the, to get my private license, it takes about 40 to 50 hours of instruction. Okay. Uh, of flying, yeah. People can come to this event on Saturday and actually learn to fly or, or, or start the process. And those hours, or the time that they spend in the plane on Saturday, will actually count toward their total training, right? That's correct. Yes, you, that, that will count as their first lesson. Okay. Yeah, it's called a discovery flight. There's no cup holders in here. No, there aren't. It, it, when you're flying an airplane, you're fairly busy. You're probably not drinking coffee. <laughs> ah, but coming up, you guys, I'm going to tell you all about, I'm going to show you a plane that has cup holders. It has, uh, you know, oh. you can control the air. It's so awesome inside. It's the Mercedes-Benz of planes. I'm not going to get out of this thing because I can't. Seriously, I need like 10 people to get me out of this. Coming up, more from Rochester Wings at the airport, coming up. We're going to check in with Norma Holland. She is live this morning at the Greater Rochester International Airport. Yeah, we'll encourage Norma to hop in that plane and take off, although I don't think she'll do that this time. There she is, ready to fly. We'll be back. At the airport this morning, she promised us a, a tour of uh, quite a plane. Yeah, I think this she may is... be thinking of a new career. Yeah. I don't know, guys. Maybe not a new career, but I definitely have had my interest peaked this morning. We are at the uh, Rochester Airport uh, because we're previewing Rochester Wings 2009. This is an event you can come to if you if you love planes, you like to look at them, or you want to learn to fly. This is it's a free event on Saturday. Starts at seven o'clock in the morning. This is Todd Hood, or excuse me, Todd Cameron. Uh, I'm thinking of Joe Hood. <laughs> Todd Cameron is the director for Rochester Wings. You are in your eighth year yes. getting people to come up, look at the planes, giving pilots extra training. That's a big part of this event. It's all about aviation safety, right? It is. It's all about aviation safety, and it's not uh, at all like driving a car. You get a license once, and you're sort of on your own from there. When you're flying an airplane, you're always retraining, always finding better ways to hone your skills, learning about new ways to make it safer for you and your passengers, sharing ideas with other pilots. And this event brings together pilots from all over the Northeast to share those ideas and become better pilots. It's a hobby, and you can get on these planes. You can, you know, the great thing is they're accessible. People fly these planes to go pick up families uh, and friends. They go on vacation with these planes. Um, and <laughs> it's just been so fun to get so close to these things. Now, this plane, Todd, yes. is kind of like the Cadillac of the planes here <laughs> that you've got, right? This is. This okay. is a bit roomier. This airplane is a, is a Lance. It's a bit faster. This is typical of an airplane that a pilot would get their family into for a trip to the Midwest and uh, very economical to fly, very speedy to fly, and very comfortable to be in. Yeah, if, if you were going to want to learn to fly a plane, you could do that by joining this club, and then what happens is it's kind of like a timeshare, but for planes, right, Todd? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. This is Joe Hood, and he's going to be here on Saturday. You're going to be showing people these planes. This is much roomier. I'm, I like this much more. Yeah, my wife likes this much more, too. It's it, it, This is the, the fourth airplane in the Artisan Flying Club stable of aircraft this right. has like uh cup holders um much more room in the back seat six seats yeah yeah and, okay. it, and it flies faster it's about 185 miles an hour okay and it's a real nice airplane for trips and for for taking families and in uh, you know a, yeah. a large number of people on trips i look at this instrumentation panel mm -hmm. and all i want to say joe yeah is what what's your vector victor <laughs> <laughs> well this airplane is pretty well equipped we we've got uh uh, GPS in the airplane. Yeah, it's very high tech. Right. We 
this this little device over here is a diff is another GPS where we can get weather on 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 this while I we're love flying. This, yeah. This, Who needs Marty Snyder? This device right here is a strike finder. It tells you where the where the uh, where the electrical storms are, so you can fly safely. Yeah, we want to avoid those. those. Yeah, this is awesome. And they're um, pretty well equipped. Um, this is the thing you can learn. For more information about this show, check out our website at 13wam.com. We've got a link to the Rochester Wings website. Uh, all the information again. It's free. It's Saturday. More than 60 planes on display. We'll have more from uh, Rochester Wings on CW16. Thanks, Norma. Coming up.